And now for a reading from the Spark Bible, Rebecca and Isaac. God kept the promise to Abraham that he would have many children. God promised Abraham's son Isaac would have lots of children too. When Abraham was very old, he asked his servant to help find a wife for Isaac. The servant needed to go to a place where the people believed in God. So he went on a long, long journey to the town where Abraham grew up. When he got to the town, the servant knew that he needed to find the woman who would be Isaac's wife, but he didn't know how to find her. He prayed to God for help. He said, God, I will go to the well in this town and ask a woman for a drink. If she gives me a drink of water and offers to get a drink for my camels, then I will know that she is the right one. The servant waited patiently by the well. In the evening, a beautiful woman came to fill her jars with water. Her name was Rebecca. The servant asked her for a drink. Rebecca replied, Sir, here is a drink for you. Let me get some water for your camels too. Rebecca showed wonderful kindness. The servant believed God heard his prayer. God sent me a very long way to find you, he told her. God has a plan for you to marry a man named Isaac. God has promised that you and Isaac will have many children. I have always wanted to have a big family, Rebecca said with a smile. I know that God keeps promises. I will marry Isaac. After Isaac and Rebecca got married, Isaac prayed for children. Isaac and Rebecca had twin boys named Esau and Jacob. Isaac's children were Abraham's grandchildren just like God had promised. Why did Abraham want a wife for Isaac? Why didn't Abraham or Isaac go find a wife? Why do you think Rebecca went with the servant back to Isaac? What happened with Isaac and Rebecca? What do you like best about your friends? What things do you and your friends do together? What do your parents do to take care of your friends? And now please join me in the prayer of the day. Dear God, thank you for giving us good people to be our friends. Bless our friends and our friendships. Amen.